This is Michiel Heinz uh, on the video, and I just want to give my 2015 class advice on how to solve this problem 5 in the assignment. That's on the design of a gas cylinder. Now, the problem statement says the pressure vessel of the type shown below is exposed to abnormal stress cycles ranging from 0 to 2 MPa. Abnormal stress cycles. The material is steel with a yield strength of 300 MPa and ultimate tensile strength 420 MPa. The circumferential and longitudinal welds in the cylindrical part of the pressure vessel is complete joint penetration but welds. A finite element analysis on the cylinder showed that the maximum ratio between the maximum stress and this, uh, that's the maximum stress at the stress concentration at the stress in the middle part of the cylinder is 3.5 for the circumferential stress and 3.0 for the longitudinal stress. What is the fatigue life of the cylinder for a 95% probability of survival? Ignore corrosion and environmental influences. Now, what I what has uh, happened in this case, um, the, the stresses that you see here are not exactly in the stress concentration, the so 3.5 and the 3.0. They are nominal stresses, um, which the welds can be exposed to. Now, the dimensions are as follows. Here they are given 510 uh, millimeters. So our third step would be to calculate the stress, the normal thin wall stress, thin wall cylinder stress in the longitudinal and circumferential directions for this pressure vessel. Now the equations were discussed in class and here they are. For the circumferential stress, we have PR over T, P is the pressure, R is the radius, and T is the thickness, the wall thickness. The longitudinal stress is half that, PR over 2T. So now that we can calculate the stress, we can, we can do fatigue calculation. If we go back to the problem, then what we do is, we know that our complete joint penetration butt welds. We, we take our... The, the, the tables that I've given to you in class, the Euro code or the EN 1993 part 1 part, part 9 tables, and we select the well detail associated with a complete joint penetration part part. And remember, in this case, they are made from the one side only, from the outside. Now, what we know is, is that um, um, uh, a finite element analysis on the cylinder showed that the maximum ratio between the maximum stress and the stresses in the middle part of the cylinder is 3.5 for circumferential and 3.0 for the longitudinal stress. So we take those stresses that we've calculated using thin wall cylinder theory and we multiply it by 3.5 to get the stress. That's in the curved areas where we have the longitudinal weld subject to circumferential stress and uh, so we multiply it by 3.5, and in any other curved areas, um, we have three times the, 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 the thin wall cylinder longitudinal stress um, for circumferential welds. And then we apply the SN curve for the 95% probability of survival, and those are the design SN curves given to you by the fatigue class um, uh, or the detailed category dependent SN curves. And then we simply calculate the stresses. See, at the bottom, a few hints were given. Remember to carry out calculations for both the longitudinal and circumferential welds. That's always important to do. The nominal stress range to use is equal to the FEA determined geometrical stress concentration factor times the co-driven stresses. In this case, it's 3.5 and 3.0, and we have already discussed that. I show all your assumptions and equation used. This is a straightforward problem. We, we calculate thin wall stresses, multiply it by 3.5 and 3.0 for the relative distances. And remember, the crack can initiate in the throat of the weld and at the toe. You need to look at the applicable SN curve and explain where the weakest point is. Will it be a crack initiating through the throat or will it be a crack initiating at the toe? and um, uh, present your results. And that's how straightforward this question is. I hope this helped a lot. Um, if you have any other problems or, or any other questions, you can please let me know.